O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading down at 386. NASDAQ's off 214. S&P's down 66. That's a downdraft, folks, inside the uh, NASDAQ and S&P of one point. Well, the, the NASDAQ's 1.6 percent, the S&P's 1.5, and the Dow Industrials 1.1. Gold. Gold contract down eight, $18.50, trading out at 19.18 an ounce. We have silver down 24 cents, $23.14 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 78 cents, $90, 46 cents a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note. Down two ticks, 108.03. 30 year down 14 at 114.14 14 in King Dollar. That's all about King. It's pretty amazing that it's just about King Dollar. It's so weird. You know, I've seen this happen before, but like this is quite a streak, man. So King Dollar's up 211 uh, ticks, 106, 207. Euro's at 107. The yen's at 149. British pounds at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. You're down six and a half bucks out here. You get volume out here at 59 million, so you're gonna have an expansion of volume. You know, your next leg down, you know, is basically about this. You know, we're, we're at 425. You get basically 417, 419 in this whole area. You know, that that's kind of where we broke out from. So I suspect that's where we're gonna go because you're in no man's land right now. You're you broke the swing, you know, you're not next to the where the breakout area. So you get about four, 420 to 417. We're going to take a look at the NDX 100. What you've done with the NDX is that it has broken the swing today of the uh, 35471. You have 39 million shares traded, which is going to be an expansion of volume. So what that sets up, the next leg there sets up this, uh, we're at 354. That's setting up a... Let's set number 338. That's how this is shaking out. So, you know, you're talking about all the way down here. And here's the swing. You know, just barely breaking the swing, but because the S&P is so far down, I just don't see that, you know, this thing's going to turn around. We go into the, um, well, let's go to the note and bond market. Take a look at the note and bond, because it's simultaneously the note, bond, dollar market. That, that's what it's all about. You can see... The 10-year note, that's, that hasn't held price either. So now we're going to have a, another high interest rate in the 10-year. So today the 10-year is running 4.554, and that's the high for the year. You can see a contraction of volume out here, but bottom line is not, not holding price. Gold, we go to the gold contract. What we have with the gold contract is making its way. Is that one? The gold contract's making its way down to the lower end of the consolidation, and that consolidation is the 1914 area. We hit 1917 today. Now, you got 196,000 contracts. That's a lot of contract volume uh, coming down into that, into that area. You know, you're coming in, you broke, you broke the swing that had 222. You know, so you get an expansion of volume. So that means that that bottom is vulnerable, no doubt about it. If we go take a look at the GDX, that the gold equities are still stronger than the contract, which is pretty wild. You can see the GDX, you're only down with 12 million shares, and you're going into 20, you're going to 30 million, actually. And the swing point had 13 million. We'll do 13 million. But you can kind of see this is set up. The, the, the equities are still stronger than the metal itself. And then, well, actually, let's go to the oil market next. So we take a look at oil. What we have with oil out here, oil rejected $88.19 today. You're at $90.14. Let's see what kind of volume we have here. Yeah, it's light volume, man. Yeah, this oil contract, not done yet. It's not done yet. It hit 92.43 last week, but that's not done yet. And then here we are. This is the number. And, you know, listen, it, it makes sense because you get... The, the way that the S&P 500 is, you know, the amount of earnings that they have overseas is incredible. It, it, and the same with the NASDAQ, no doubt about that. So if we put this on, you're going to see this has been a straight shot, moonshot. You know, from 95, we're at 106, 182. We put this on a two-year. What you're going to see is 
I had two different numbers here. The first number is the bottom of the downdraft. See, we're going into the bottom of the downdraft from last November. That's when the dollar got smoked from 111 to 106. Now, 106, 281 was the number. We got to 106, 261 today. So that's your first, you know, sign, meaning that, okay, there's some resistance there. That being said, though, the way that this contract's trading, looks to me it's going to go right through it. And now your swing point is this 107,993. So, you know, we'll see how this baby shakes out. But the dollar has been relentless. There's no doubt about it. We look at some of the higher volume equities out here, and you can see it's this higher price in the dollar, lower price everything else. We take a look at Tesla down. Uh, well, yeah, let's do it this way. Let's go into the NDX 100 first and see the strength versus the weakness. So inside the NDX, you have Lucid Motors. That's up 3.5%. Dexcom's up 2.5%. Montelis is up 1.5%. And then you have Dollar Tree up one2 Taken away from it. Sirius Satellite's down 55 You get uh, Syntas off 45 I want to look at Syntas. And Amazon's up 45 Let me look at Syntas. Because Syntas is a great indicator, folks, if you are going into a, oh, if you are going into a recession. Look at this. What the heck happened here? Let me look at this. This is Syntas. Revenue matches. After the first quarter, revenue matches analyst expectations. I'll tell you what, man. It says they made what they were supposed to make, but this is, this right here, they put this on a weekly. You know, what Syntas does, folks, every retail business that you see, you know, whether it's in their toilets and their, you know, rugs, meaning if you're up north, I mean, Syntas is all over the place. Syntas is the first identification that things are going to get soft. Now, this is coming down, let me just on a weekly, but for, I mean, daily. So it came down hard. Put this on a weekly now. So on a weekly, well, still doesn't look bad in the weekly. So we'll see. It's down 23 bucks though. It's down 5%. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 387. NASDAQ's off 213. S&P's down 66. We'll come right back.